Hi there. In this short video, I'd like to explain to you how you can register for and take a level one Google Certified Educator exam. The first thing you do is come to the Google Teacher Center, which you'll find at edu.google.com slash teacher dash center. And once you come here, go to the certifications tab and choose Educator Level 1. You'll end up on this page. Scrolling down a little, you'll see some information here about the exam, that it's valid for three years. It takes, so well, you have 180 minutes to do it, and it will cost you 10 US dollars. Clicking the register button will take you to a website for a, a service called Web Assessor, run by Criterion. If you haven't used this before, it will prompt you to create an account in Web Assessor, and uh, it's as simple as filling in your details. Once you have the account, you'll come, you'll be on this page here, and you'll click on the register for an exam option up the top there. On this page here, you'll get to choose which type of exam you want. You'll go to four educators and choose either level one or level two. The cost for a level one is ten dollars. The cost for a level two is twenty-five dollars. Once you do that, you can click the buy now button. And if you're paying for the exam yourself, it's a simple matter of just hitting the submit button. It will ask for some payments and process it. If you've been given a voucher, you can click in here, paste the voucher code you've been given in there and hit the submit button. And what you should find is that $10 price is zeroed out. So the exam will actually cost nothing to do. Once you've done that, you can hit the checkout button. It will process that transaction and you will receive an email shortly confirming the purchase and providing some further details on how to proceed with the assessment. Once you've registered for your Google for Education Certified Educator Level 1 or Level 2 exam, you'll receive an email to confirm. This email will normally arrive within about an hour or so of registering. It could be a little longer or a little shorter, but keep your eye out for it. It's usually about an hour or so. Uh, it will warn you here that you have eight days to log into the exam. So now that you've triggered the request for the exam, you have to do it within eight days. And it tells you a date here um, that it won't be valid after that date. Uh, it will reminds you also that you have to complete this in a single 180 minute or three hour session. Um, it probably won't take you three hours, but you've got three hours if you need it. Scrolling down a little, you'll find the actual instructions for the exam. This is the important information. It tells you where to go to do the exam, what account you need to use. You won't be using your own Google account. You'll be using a test account that's been set up specifically for you and a password. And of course, once you've used that account and password, it gets used and you can't reuse it again. OK, so what you need to do is to open this address. But very importantly, you need to do it in an incognito window. Just clicking this address will open it in the current window, and that's not what you want because you're currently logged into whatever Google account you're currently using. You don't want to do that because we need to be in a different Google account. So open an incognito by clicking on the three dots up in the top corner here and saying new incognito window or control shift N if you like keyboard shortcuts. Please note that if you don't see the option here for new incognito window, it's probably being blocked by your school administrator and you'll need to either find another computer to do it on where you can access an incognito window or ask for it to be unblocked. For now, let's click on new incognito window. Now, I'm just gonna pop back over to that account because I need to click on this address and copy it so that when I go back to my incognito window, I can paste it in there like so and that will take me to the exam page ready to go. It's asking me to log in. So I need those other two pieces of information Just switch back again. I need the uh, address here, the, the account address. So let's copy that. And I also need the password. I'll come back for that in just a sec. So log in, it will pop up this window here. It'll ask me to pop in my test account. There it is there. Next, now it'll ask me for the password and I just need to pop back over to that other page and copy the password like so, go back to this page and paste it in. Okay, once I've done that, I should be able to click in here and my exam is ready to start with a new test account. Once you accept your test account, you'll come to this page here, which asks you to set up proctoring. Let's do this together. So I've clicked the set up proctoring button and it will ask me to do a couple of things. It welcomes me to the exam. Tells me there's a couple of parts, explains what I need to do, and so on. Click the next button. And 
During the exam, the webcam actually needs to be activated. This is called Proctor to see, just to ensure that you are in fact who you say you are. You are doing the exam by yourself and you're not looking things up that you're not supposed to look up. So let's activate the webcam. Need to allow that and you'll see that it appears there. I now need to take a photo. Hello. Like so. And retake the photo if you don't like it. Which camera am I looking at that one? Okay. And then once you're happy with that, you can just say done. And that's it. All you need to do now is say you've read and agreed to the non-disclosure agreement. Now that basically means that once you take this exam, you can't go and tell your friends of the questions that were in the exam. Okay, the questions are um, under an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, and you are not supposed to talk about them or tell people what you experienced in the exam, except in very general terms. You also need to agree to the exam privacy and policies uh, link there. And once you're happy with all of those, you can go and read both of those things if you need to. You can then click I understand, start the exam, loads the exam, and we are now underway.